Hello and welcome to the video. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here, my name is Mike. If you've been here before, my name is still Mike, but you would have known that already. This week, we're in St. Paul, Alberta, taking a look at the UFO landing pad. Now, due to the fact that the ground underneath is considered international soil, I'm unable to fly my drones. Okay, not really the reason, but it's a good story, so that's the story we're going with. The landing pad was built in 1967, Canada's centennial year, and at the grand opening ceremony, the town of St. Paul was declared the centennial capital of Canada. The adjacent UFO-shaped Tourist Information Center was officially opened in 1990. The time capsule which was built into the landing pad is due to be opened in 2067. The actual landing pad weighs at just over 130,000 kilograms and sits atop a 2.4 meter pedestal that cost 11,000 donated dollars to build, which would be about $99,000 adjusted for inflation. While an impressive structure, it is not large enough for today's modern UFOs to actually land on. The landing pad stands for peace and unity, not only for mankind, but all intergalactic travelers as well. As the plaque erected near the site states, we must learn the true meaning of tolerance to others that are different from us. We must remember that no matter how large the universe, the smallest creature has its place in the order of life. Just in case you're curious, I'm not sure aliens will actually land here but St. Paul is ready if they do. for me to remind you to subscribe if you're into that kind of thing 
Feel free to share the video with a friend or family member who you think may enjoy it. And remember, you can follow Gradient Imaging on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok if you so desire. But until next time, bye bye